Hello and welcome back everybody, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and today we are making a space cruiser. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm thinking right off the bat is yes, we have a lot, a lot of seats. But when I think of space cruiser, I think of something that's really heavy, um, something that someone probably lives on. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty big. So instead of one of these default cockpits or seats, I guess you can call them, I'm going to make my own with some of the blocks like this and like this. And then of course, eventually put like a little go-kart seat or uh, even the operator seat on the inside. So to start off, let's get this big chunky wedge here. Go down to the wedge corners. Of course, flip it so it's nice and flush. Get the inverted corner that's also the nice and big one. And then highlight those and copy and put it on the same exact side. And then for the rest of this, we're just going to make it a little bit taller and have it go basically straight down. So something like that. You know what? Let's make it just uh, a little bit longer. That looks good. So to give it some good dimension, we're going to use the other wedge, which is this little tiny one. And then of course, copy it on this side. Slide all the way down. Go to the wedge that is a two by four four, I think. Yes, two by four. And then copy it on this side as well. Now, of course, none of you actually have to follow along with this tutorial. This is just kind of to give you a good idea of making a massive ship that's like a tank. Who wouldn't want that? So now that we have the windshield done, let's go ahead and add, um, well, the entire ship. So of course, get you a big block like this. I actually wanna add something nice on here, like a good, cool looking lip. So I'm just gonna copy this going all the way down. And then of course, fill this in like that. And same with the sides like that and right there. Now I don't like how close this is going to be to the actual windshield itself. So let's actually get a four by one wedge, flip it, flip it again. And now we're just gonna bring this glass back just a little bit further. We're going for a dome shape, um, if you have not noticed. <laughs> so get this wedge, flip it like that. Get this fat wedge, go like that, two by four. And then we'll highlight all these and put them on the other side. I know this is looking like a tombstone right now, but just trust the process. It's a big ship, so it's gonna take a little bit. Now I'm gonna copy this and go all the way back, maybe like two, get a two by four and copy it on this side as well and then we got this big boy here so let's bring it back dang it dude i'm such a ding dong why didn't i just put this in mirror mode and to remind ourselves that this is going to be glass let's of course change it to glass i like painting it black because uh it's easier to see through okay cool so let's go ahead and just copy this again um i'm thinking of making the back part here of course go out a little bit wider like bow out a little bit and the best way to do that is by getting a little inverted corner and trying to attach it to this little two by four or i guess two by two wedge and then since we have a big jump from the two by two to the two by two by two we actually need to get the big inverted corner bring that around and then flip it so that it's flush like that now some of you may be wondering like oh dude that weird little cut there looks gross i agree so we're gonna get the wedge corner that is the little small one and then we're gonna flip it Wait, look at that. And then we're gonna do the same with the top half. We're gonna go like that, get a two by four wedge. Cool, let's copy this, bring it down, get a two by four wedge again, flip it, bring it in like so. This looks not like a spaceship yet, but trust the process guys, trust the process. So I'm gonna line that up, bring that across, get another two by four, flip it so it fits. And we're gonna get this big chunky four by eight block and drop it down there in the middle. And you know what? I might actually do the same here with the sides. Yeah, that looks good. Now we copy these again, slide them down, and these are free floating right now. So what we're gonna do is basically just get this one by four block, slide it all the way down and up, and it is good. I cannot wait to just run around inside this ship. Have my seat here, maybe add a little bit of a control panel area. I don't know, something that just looks really good for cosmetics. So I'm essentially just gonna copy this back half here and put it right there. Now I'm not gonna do much with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Here's where I'm gonna be putting all the thrusters, and I think I wanna add a cool little tail coming off the back. So because this thing isn't just your normal ship, it actually is a place to live, and also just cruise around on in space, I'm gonna add something really goofy, something really weird, but also something really cool. So this midsection that I'm leaving clear here, I'm actually gonna bring all the way down. So its belly is gonna be, uh, really big. Some of you may not understand why, but uh, I want to be able to drive a car onto the inside of this, or I guess rover, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, basically, it's going to be a mothership. It's going to be pretty sweet. 
but like a small mothership. <laughs> of course, we gotta stick with the wedge aesthetic, so we gotta bring this down like that. Oh man, it just goes a little bit too far. You know, it's gonna be kinda hard to uh, drive a car in here. It's gonna have to be really small, so I'm gonna just add a block going all the way across there. Like this, going right there, and then copying this, going back like that. Very nice. And this actually is a little too sharp of an edge, so I'm just gonna add one of these guys right there. And then, of course, a 1x4 block right there. Now with this back half, it's gonna look a little weird with just a flat edge, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a slant coming down. I mean, that looks better, that's for sure. Let's just keep adding to it. I don't think it looks ugly. I think it looks interesting. So we're gonna stick with that. And of course, we can't have a hole in our ship. That is not going to work out well for our little guy here. So flip that and then bring it up again. Now, for thrusters, let's get these big rocket engines and we'll flip them around. Oh yeah, that looks sweet. Cool, now for the tail, this is gonna be a little bit rough because I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, especially, what did I just do? Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. Uh, especially because I don't know how I'm gonna make these stay in place because... Oh, you know what? I guess that might work. Let's add this block right there. Flip it around. Well, I think we need a big one right there. And then we'll continue again going back. Now with that done, um, I don't want the tail to be, of course, like a four by, I don't even know what that is, six. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break it down even in the middle like that. And then now that we're on the inside, we need to do another one. I think I'm just gonna copy this and flip it like that. That looks, that looks nice from the side. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and bring this guy there. And now this is for the fun part for the tail. So we're gonna go ahead and bring these two by fours in. We're gonna get the four by one little curve or slant here, sorry. Very nice. And because I actually want these on an angle, I'm gonna put some of these hinges here, flip them around just like that. And we are gonna add a two by four going down this sharp little wedge here. Let's go ahead and flip that like that. And then, of course, these little twos right there. That looks pretty crazy, dude. That looks pretty sweet. I might want this longer. Uh, let's go ahead and test that. Okay, copy that. Perfect. Yeah, I like it longer. That looks pretty sweet. And a little life hack for those of you who don't want your uh, blocks to be touching, connected-wise, if that makes sense. Um, basically, just get a sensor and get the part that doesn't have any attachment points facing the spot that you don't want it to connect to. And then of course, we're gonna connect it to uh, these little hinges here like that, like that. Uh, zero, invert trigger. And then when we go in build mode, um, I think there needs to be a seat, one second. Oh wait, the distance isn't at zero. Okay, there we go. Um, I mean, they, they're not going the right way. I didn't fix the hinges, but you know, you know what I'm trying to do. So I got out of mirror mode. Let's go ahead and put a floor down in here. Get these big boys, put them right here, right there. You know what? I think, uh, I think we're gonna need to fill this little middle section here. Like I said, cannot have holes in the ship. That just, that won't work out well, but that's looking good. So let's go ahead and add a two by four like that and like that. So we have just, you know, a little ramp for our, for our Rover to get in here. Perfect. So we're just gonna move those forward and then of course add a little four by one? Four? One by four? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused with all the one by fours, two by four wedges, all that good stuff. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the traditional barn door as I was saying, uh, just something extremely, extremely simple. So uh, let's go like that. We will flip this one because I want them both going green inward. Then of course with these, we're going to go to settings. I'm gonna go ahead and do Q and then toggle and then speed one that might be a little bit fast. That's totally fine. But then we're gonna go to 90 and then uh, yeah, other than that, everything looks good. But of course we need to connect these. So let's go to the pipe pieces course a very easy simple 90 degree angle copy it and we will drag it all the way on that side flip that one and we're actually gonna go to here these are the shield pieces so um, we could do blocks of course but then they're gonna want to connect to the roof and all that good stuff so uh, not down anyways we got this and this and we're gonna copy it now some of you may be wondering is how we're going to connect these and uh, it's actually pretty simple so I'm actually gonna make these glass uh, for now, just so it's easy to see. 
So now that we got that, we need these to connect like so. So that is good. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy it and bring that one up so that's connected as well. But we're gonna need to copy it again so that all four are technically connected like that. So basically a C shape with these little adapters here. And then we're just gonna copy this and then of course copy these and paste it on this side. But of course my OCD brain doesn't like that these aren't exactly the same. So I'm going to just go ahead and move it like that. Now, we're gonna do cool little teeth design on here by doing the shield piece and go like that. Is that too far in? That was, okay, there we go. Copy it, copy it, going all the way up like that. Now, I'm gonna make these glass again just because it's a little hard to see. So we're gonna get one of these guys, we're gonna copy it and go sideways like that. And we're basically just gonna skip every single square or every other square, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna go right there. Now we're gonna go up and actually this one's on the wrong side so <laughs> there we go perfect now i did put a seat in here as you guys can see this is not the default seat but this is just so that we could see that when i click q the doors open and a little rover can go inside very nice but i do not want uh this to be glass it does look cool but you can't make those little adapters glass so it'll just uh it'll be like that and that there we go <laughs> Okay, so I got it back in build mode, and if we go on the bottom here, we're going to delete that 2x4 and actually put, where is that? Tractor beam. Here we go. We're going to put the tractor beam inside. Now, yes, it will be sticking up out of the ground just a little bit, but that's totally fine. Because the little rover we're driving in here has some pretty decent suspension on it, so it'll easily be able to clear that. Now, this is uh, E for the little seat here. So once I get inside this seat, I'll just click E and it will lock our little rover in place. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna put some quantum rudders on the ends here. Now, of course, we don't actually need the quantum rudders for this big ship because uh, I don't think I'm gonna actually need these little slight controls that it offers us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those off. Okay, very nice. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna use, what are those little pieces called? The little gyros for tilting and all that good stuff. And then for takeoff, of course, we're gonna need some gyro stabilizers that will be on. But of course, when we're in space, we're just gonna turn those gyro stabilizers off. But let's go ahead and go on the inside here. Now, um, there's not really a point of having all this free space and this big gap here. So I'm just gonna put a floor. And just so there's not these little gaps, we're gonna go ahead and fill those in as well. So let me just go ahead and get these little one by fours and go all the way down on each side. All right, and there we go. So next up, what we have to do is actually add some thrusters. Now, I want to go ahead and, whoops, there we go. <laughs> I wanna actually build off of this and do a cool little sloped design connecting to the actual massive thrusters. Maybe not like the space shuttle thrusters, but like, you know, make something that looks like really, really big. So I'm thinking something like this, but of course doubling up on them because I want this to be nice and beefy looking. And now we gotta go for the actual thrusters themselves. So I'm not sure how big I actually want these things. Uh, I'll maybe do something like this connected to the sides. Yeah, that might actually be a good size. So let me flip this. I'll go ahead and go like that. I will copy it and then flip it again. And now we'll do the same thing, but just with these big wedges. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, that one. Right there, bring it down. Now we're gonna actually copy this and then just flip it and then do the same thing down here. But now that we're here, we need to actually connect all these. And then the same thing on this side. Go ahead and flip it. Now we'll go ahead and line it up with these first little arms coming out here like that. But I actually want this to be a little bit more symmetrical. So I think I'm gonna have to add uh, a little section here that comes back. But for cosmetic reasons, we're eventually gonna paint this thing up and I want a nice streak, a little line going across here. All right, there's one, there's two. And we gotta do the same thing on this side, but we'll just flip it like so. So now that we're here, I'm thinking of just doing a bunch of these guys like coming out from the inside. And then from there, we're just gonna block off all of these walls, or I guess all these holes. And then we're gonna add little vents um, in the front. You'll see exactly what I mean when I go like that. But of course, that's not gonna hold up. Um, that's just structurally not gonna work. So we're gonna need to do uh, basically one of these, or two of the two by fours, and flip it on its side so that it holds them all together. All right, let's add the one by four, copy, bring that down here. And then we'll just copy these and put them the exact same way, but on the sides. There we go. 
But before I close this up completely, let's go ahead and put some thrusters in here. I'm thinking of just the regular dragon jets. How many of these could fit in here? Oh, wow. That's actually kind of a lot. I think it's just going to be able to hold a total of six. So let me flip these. And the reason why I say that is because back here, we're actually going to need a block to hold these guys in. I know I could scoot them back, but it just doesn't look all that cool. So let's put this here, flip it like that and copy it on the top as well. So let's copy this and do the same for this side to officially lock it all in. Okay, so of course, um, we can't just have forward thrust. We need actual liftoff. So we are going to flip this like this. And instead of having two bars coming out, we're gonna have to just change that. We're gonna need to actually bring these out like that. Fill in with little one by twos. And then of course, center it while also trying to fit uh, what is that little thing called? Uh, little rotating servo. That's what it is. Rotating servo. So let's squeeze this guy in here. And then of course we need to fill in the bottom half like that. This is just a little tight. Let me move this off to the side. <laughs> and then we will put these little blocks on the side. Now let's make sure that the settings are right so we can see that green is the direction that we need it to go in. So let's change this to space and toggle and then we will do 90 and that should be good. Let's go ahead and drag it and put it back here and do the same exact thing on this side and also the back side as well. Now of course I don't want these also pitched forward. I want them kind of going out more like a quadcopter kind of style. So let's drag this back and I think that that is perfectly centered. So same thing here. Let's copy this one. Let's make sure all the controls are going green to forward now as well. So those are good. Okay, so this one's actually red. So we're going to need to do red space toggle take that off that's 90 so that's fine and then same thing with this we're just going to do space toggle take that off that off 90s fine let's see this okay cool so now it goes forward and then we also have up so that's great i actually don't want these to be space i want these to be shift and then we gotta go somewhere inside here and then hold control and double click this so that all of those are connected or selected <laughs> And then shift, and then I don't know if I want those on toggle. Also, with uh, VTOLs kind of like this, you actually want it to be fairly slow. So let's do like 0 0.25. And that's honestly probably still too fast. We're actually going to make this part here, again, another life hack, uh, glass, just so we could see on the inside. And dang it. I wish I didn't do that because that looks so cool to be able to see inside like that. Sweet. So we are going to go to this section here. We're going to go to gyro. Now this is for tilting left and right. So it seems to be on the right stuff. A and D that seems right. Um, let's just do like five because we're going to need this to be a little bit strong for the tilting left and right. We're going to copy this and double it up just so everything's more symmetrical. But then we also need to lean forwards and backwards. So we're going to go like that. Sure. We'll put it right there. And then we'll do W and S. And then of course we will do five and then we will do this again, but we will flip it this way and we will do Q and E. Now let's bring that down and put that in there as well. I think I have uh, these doors on those controls. Yes, I have it on Q. So let's just put that to one. And then I think with this guy here, yeah, this one's on E. So let's just do this one to two. Sweet. So we have this all good and ready to go. I think it's just the thrusters on exactly what I need it to do. So these are all on left shift and then these are on space, but I think I'm actually going to change those. So I'm going to go here and here. Let's do shift and then here and here. And we'll also do shift. And then for all the thrusters, we're going to do space. Even these guys in here, we got to do it space as well. So settings, space, very nice. Now, if we click one, you can see that the doors open up. And then if we click, uh, what is it, two, then of course it'll hold our little rover. And then, yeah, we could just take off and boom, there we go. We are nice and good to go. And of course we have the forward momentum when it comes to thrust. So this is super sweet. I can see that we have a massive hole in the bottom of our ship there, but that's totally fine. We are okay. And we are almost done, I promise. We are just adding a gyro stabilizer in here. So if we go ahead and put this like so on the inside, and we'll go ahead and drop it down like that. We will put the strength to five. We will of course copy it so we have two of them. Now this is just for symmetry reasons. There's no um, benefit to having two unless you have a massive creation. Um, and then we're gonna do this again 
again, and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it in like so, put the strength to five, and then I'm gonna go like that and copy and paste for another one. Now, this is totally optional if you want a stabilizer in here. The gyro stabilizers are pretty cool, but of course, um, it's nice when you're coming into an upper atmosphere of a planet, and uh, you know, you're, you're just turning on the stabilizer and you're perfectly level. Or, for instance, when we're taking off, you want a perfectly level takeoff for a VTOL. But in our case, um, when we're in deep space, we want to be able to turn that off so we can do cool rolls and cool turns and all that good stuff. So for the controls of this, because I'm running out, I'm doing it number three. Now that we have this all done, I'm going to go ahead and paint this up. And uh, yeah, I will be right back. All right. Well, long, long, long journey is finally over of building this massive space cruiser. So if you guys are ready in three, two, one, here we go. Okay, there. Are, are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. But as you can see, the door is open. The door is closed. If we go ahead and hop out, uh, uh, let's go in. Let's go in first person. There we go. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. So we can actually look at the windows and all that cool stuff. Um, don't mind the holes in the back thruster area here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I actually kept this seat. I think it looks pretty sweet. As you guys can see, uh, we could also just go straight forward or up. Of course, I'm going to choose up. So here we go. Let's take off nice and fast here. Uh, this just looks so cool. So the stabilizers are on. Now, if I want to shut that off, I think that it is uh, three. I think it's three. Yes, so now it is off, and you can see that we could do crazy rolls and all that good stuff. And then it's actually kind of cool because we can open up the uh, the little cart door here. So um, we could drop our rover off if we really wanted to. But yeah, super, super sweet. Um, wait for the end of the video where I'm actually going to be driving a rover into this thing. But yes, today's mission, we are going and we are trying to go to a different planet and land safely. Dune, that's the planet we're heading towards, I think. And then if we do shift, you guys can see that we have a massive, massive thruster in the back. And geez, are we going fast. This is a total of almost 700 miles an hour. That's pretty quick. So coming into the Earth, Earth, <laughs> Dune's atmosphere, we're going to have quite a hard time slowing down. So let me go ahead and shut off all the thrusters. Of course, we got to go back into the VTOL mode. And uh, yes, let's turn on our gyro system. There we go. Very nice. And I'm going to start turning backwards because we don't have any reverse thrust on this thing. But we should be slowing down now. So um, turn these back on. Of course, we are heading backwards at uh, almost 200 miles an hour but we are slowing down all right let's come in for a landing here um of course i don't have any reverse thrust but it definitely feels like the gravity on this planet is a lot stronger than the moon one we are falling a lot faster so here we go come on i'm trying to do a nice and soft landing here nothing's broken Nothing is broken. Okay, cool. So as you guys can see, I have my little rover that I am driving up to the ship and uh, it's a tight fit, that's for sure. But <laughs> if we hop out, let's hope that, uh, you know, we don't, we don't break this guy here. But look at that. This is super cool. So once I jump out, I'm perfectly inside here. And then F and then we do number two. So it locks that guy in place. Close the doors. Go ahead and take off, and yeah, we are good. Um, the ship is in there. Well, I mean, the rover is in there, as you guys can see, and it is doing just fine. Now, we can go ahead and drive off this way. Oh, I just turned off the, uh, the system there. That wasn't good. There we go. <laughs> Well, you guys get the point of today's tutorial. I made an awesome cruiser ship that uh, has plenty of room for you and your friends. If you enjoyed this build process, make sure to share it with your friends. Anyways, that's it from me. My name's Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.